Welcome to Jenny's Food Network. Now, my garlic and ginger has browned a little bit, and that's perfect. It's cooking the garlic and ginger a little more, giving that nice aroma all over the home. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my beef. It's already been coated with cornstarch, so, because beef will get very watery as you cook it, and the cornstarch will help thicken it up and give it a nice coating and help brown it without it being too like watery when you stir fry it. So cornstarch helps keep it more in control, more gravier and more easily browned, especially if you add more extra cornstarch in it. So I'm gonna turn this up on high. It was a medium high, now it's on high. Now that it's on high, I'm going to let it sit there for a bit so it could brown on one side. So while it's browning on one side, I'm going to flip it in a moment. And I only use one tablespoon of oil. And I had used olive oil. You can use any oil you like. The meat is starting to brown. Do you see how it's not too watery? When it's not too watery, it's because of the cornstarch. It makes it more dry and more together. And when it's too watery, it becomes like boiled beef, like a boiled style beef. And I don't want that, okay? So I want it to brown the meat more, give it a nice coating, and the meat browns more nicely. Otherwise, it becomes very boiled when it's too wet. So I'm gonna let it sit for a bit and let it brown, and I'll stir it again. I'm gonna stir it again. See how it's starting to brown more? Pan. Don't touch pan. Okay, I'm gonna stir it again. I'm gonna add some more sauce. Now the meat's starting to get more cooked and more brown. The whole place smells so delicious. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more sauce. This is my brown sauce again, stirring it. Okay. One, two tablespoons. This 
will eventually get diluted because I'm going to add veggies in it, okay? Look how beautiful that looks. I'm turning it down to medium high now. So I'm going to go ahead and add the broccoli. Here's my two quarts of broccoli. I'll zoom out. Okay. Here's my two quarts of broccoli. I love a lot of veggies in my stir fry. So I had put it down to medium high temperature. Now I'm going to stir it. So I'm going to add a little bit of filtered water. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add half a cup of filtered water to get the broccoli steaming, okay? It'll help steam cook them, the veggies. And make sure you have a big lid to cover the wok or whatever pan that you're using. I'm making a big batch. I'm turning it back high now, okay? Because the temperature is going back down, so I gotta turn it back up high. So I'm gonna stir this. Because if you don't add a little bit of water, at this time, it's gonna burn your broccoli. It's not gonna be able to steam it because to steam cook, it's gonna need some liquid. I, the reason why I made my beef that way, because I like my beef a little more brown. And cornstarch helps brown it. Okay, now the temperature is getting high, it's getting hotter. I'm going to turn it down to medium now, and I'm going to cover it for a bit. And i got to stir it again soon, so it won't burn. Okay. I'm turning it down to medium to medium low, because I needed to steam cook the, the, um, the green broccoli, okay? So it's on medium to medium low right now. Because if you put it on too high, you might burn the broccoli and you don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna let it, here, I'm gonna open it again right now and stir it. And try not to overcook your broccoli, okay? If you overcook your broccoli, it's going to turn a yellowish brown, okay? You don't want that. That's overcooking your broccoli. Or I'm going to cover it again and put another half cup of water again. Every stir fry is, is going to vary as you cook over the years because it depends on how much meat you use, how much cornstarch you use, how much sauce you use, how much of a big portion of veggies you're cooking with the meat. It all depends, okay? For me, I've been cooking for years, so for me, I'm turning it back up high now. So for me, I'm not scared to cook. You just build up confidence and you just adjust as you go. So every recipe is not going to be the exact measurement, okay? That's why I don't really go by measurements with the dishes that I'm really familiar with that I cook on a routine basis. So now that I'm adding another half cup of water, it's going to steam cook it even more now while I stir it more evenly. Okay. Now, I think, now, I believe it's the best time to add them. Okay, so here you have your beef and broccoli. You can always add some shredded carrots for some color. And you can also add some red bell peppers. But I'm going to let it steam cook a little more. Alright, 
turn it down. I'm going to open it again and stir it. Okay, the broccolis are pretty much almost done. Today I'm going to prepare two dishes, okay? It'll be a beef and broccoli dish first. I'm gonna put in a separate bowl. It'll be a beef and broccoli dish first, and then another dish will be made into a beef and vegetable dish, okay? Like a mixed vegetable. It won't just be broccoli. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna take some, put it on the side. Just for a nice demonstration. Okay, so now we have beef and broccoli right here, okay? I had kept the beef and broccoli in a separate bowl and create a beef and broccoli dish to show you as I decorate it later. And now I'm gonna make this into a beef and vegetable. Can now, beef and vegetable dish. So here's my shredded carrots. I'm just gonna garnish it like that and I'm gonna stir fry it together. Try, and here's the red chopped bell peppers. Try not to put the red bell peppers at the end with the shredded carrots. If you overcook red bell peppers, it'll lose its, lose its color and crunch to it, and it's gonna start turning orange, okay? It'll lose its color. So garnish, garnish it with some beautiful red bell peppers. Like I said, be creative, guys, be creative. I'm just being creative as a demonstration to show you that you could vary up on your dishes, vary up on the nutrients, vary up on the flavor, vary up on the beautiful looks of the colors. So it's on medium, medium, low right now, and I'm gonna cover it again. Okay, and I'm gonna get the plates ready. Okay, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, because it's pretty much done, and I don't wanna overcook it, especially the red bell peppers and the shredded carrots. Okay. All right, we're going to end this video and continue in the next part in a moment.